Well, this is a day most football fans mark on their calendars. The first day of fall practice, which means really the season is here. And that means the countdown to the first game is underway. Carolina fans happy to see this guy working out with the team. Marcus Lattimore back and ready to go. The 2-1 missing a good portion of his sophomore year with a knee injury, but he was a full go tonight. Now, we won't get to hear from Marcus until Sunday's media day, but the head ball coach says he's looking good. Marcus was running around full go as we expected. Uh, I asked him if he could do everything. He said, yeah, I'm doing everything, coach. So he just, he just practiced right along with all the other guys. So uh, health-wise, uh, shoot, health-wise, everybody's healthy right now. Sean Carson was back. Uh, all the guys that had the surgeries are ready to go. And while Lattimore is back, one of Clemson's stars will have to take a seat. Sophomore wide receiver Sammy Watkins suspended for the first two games of the season. It's the result of his arrest last May. Watkins working out with the team tonight, but he'll miss the games against Auburn and Ball State. He's the preseason ACC Player of the Year, but the Tigers will have to win a tough opener against the Auburn Tigers without him. Tonight after practice, Coach Dabo Sweeney and Watkins meeting the press. You know, so he, all you can do is respond when you make a mistake, and he's responded the right way. And, and, and uh, as I said in my release, I think, you know, um, things sometimes that you think are the worst in your life turn out to be some of the best things that's happened to you uh, if you handle it the right way and if you learn and grow. And I think that's exactly what Sammy Watkins will do. I think he'll, he's going to uh, move on. And, but we got 29 days before our opener, and, uh, you know, we got to get the football team ready. But, you know, number two, will be ready and when his opportunity comes and I don't have any doubt he'll have a great year. I just kept kept a good spirit, just kept kept working every day with my team, with my coaches, just just kept a good spirit and just stayed humble through the whole situation because I, I messed up. No one else messed up. Uh, I'm going to take all the blame for it and I mean that's my coach. I'm, I'm all right with the decision. It just humbled me as a, uh, a young guy. Uh, just don't be around other guys with uh, any type of drugs and it just showed me a good lesson. Well, tonight, the first day of fall camp in Orangeburg as Buddy Pugh and the SC State Bulldogs begin their season prep. Tomorrow is media day and picture day for the Bulldogs. We'll have comments from Coach Pugh and the players. That's coming up tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Major League Baseball tonight. Braves home to the Astros. Pick it up bottom of the third scoreless, but not for long. Chipper Jones with the double to right field. That scores Martin Prado and Jason Hayward. 2-0 Braves. In all honesty, this is a series they should sweep. The Astros are not very good, haven't been good uh, in a couple of years. Here's Dan Ugla. He will bring home Chipper with an RBI double. Atlanta goes on to win 4-1. The Nationals split a doubleheader with the Marlins tonight, so the Braves pick up a half game in the standings. And don't put away your blowfish hats and jerseys yet. The Columbia baseball team is in the Coastal Plain League playoffs. The Fish will be the fourth seed in the Pettit Cup Tournament. They'll play Wilmington in the first round starting tomorrow. Now, Game 1 is in the Sharks Park. Game 2, Sunday night at Cap City Stadium. Game 3, if necessary, Monday in Columbia as well. So, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of conjecture yeah. about the future of the Blowfish. Cap City Stadium, the City, Walmart. Walmart yeah. Yeah. We don't really know yet where they're going to play next season. But at least for now, we know there's at least one more game. And sure. that will be and maybe Sunday, two. Sunday night at 7 and maybe a third Monday at 7 yeah. if they get that far. Well, we'll find out.